What is going on guys welcome back in this little video today I want to show you how you can instantly find files on Windows with a little tool called everything. Now before we talk about everything I want to show you how you would do it the Windows way the default way. Let's say we want to find something a file we don't know exactly what we named it or we want to find for example a version of the Java development kit JDK. Uh, we don't know which uh, we have on the hard drive. What I can do on Windows is I can just press the Windows button and I can type I don't know, JDK. And in this case, you can see, okay, I have JDK 17, but I know I also have JDK 11. So how can I find it? Maybe by typing JDK 11. No, it doesn't find it. Dash 11 doesn't find it. Space 11 doesn't really find it. So what can I do in order to find the Java development kit? Now, what I could do is I could go to the Explorer. I could go to, I don't know, maybe I know it's somewhere in C and I can type here search and I can type JDK. And then it's going to take a while, I have to press enter, then it's going to work and work and work and it just is tedious. I don't want to do it like that. Now, what I can do is I can also use the Windows subsystem for Linux, which is not really a recommended way because, you know, it's just overhead unnecessarily. So I can wait for it to boot up. I can go to uh, documents and then I can open up the fuzzy finder and I can say look for the Java development kit and then it loads and loads and loads and it's not as quick as uh, we want to have it. Now let me show you how this works with everything. I open up everything. This is the tool. Uh, by the way, you can get it from voidtools.com. Just download the installer. And now what I have to do now, in this case, it's already listed because I tried this before recording the video, but what I can do is I can just type JDK and it immediately finds everything where the string JDK occurs. There you go. Everything where JDK is in the name, it is found immediately. And I can then just double click and open the directory. Now, maybe I want to find a certain Python script. I can just type Python. There you go. Now we see all sorts of directories. I can also say, okay, look for uh, documents. And then it's only going to find simple files here. Um, now maybe I want to find Python files, so maybe I can go to everything and just say, for example, I don't know, TCP and then PY. And then you can see this is a fuzzy find because it finds the TCP here and it finds the PY in the end. Everything where TCP occurs and PY occurs, it's found. Um, now maybe I also want to find something like UDP PY. They go, it instantly finds it. How does it work? it basically indexed the whole, uh, indexes the whole hard drive. So everything, as far as I know, is running here all the time and uh, basically indexing all the time. So whatever I look for, it's found immediately. So what tutorial do I have? For example, I have a tutorial on sockets. So I can just type socket. I can go to search. I can say, okay, I'm looking for a video. Uh, and there you go, sockets MP4. It's in business sockets. This is the video I have prepared. Um, or maybe I have a Python script where I show, I don't know, a uh, port scanner or something. Port scan like that. You can see threaded port scanner Python. Maybe I don't want to look for the video. I want to look for the Python file, port scanner py. There you go. Um, I don't know. Maybe I have a book series here. So maybe I type Bible, Python. There you go. You can see it's a fuzzy find Python Bible volume. So even if I type Bible Python and not Python Bible, it finds it. The Windows search cannot do that. So it's a fuzzy find and it's an instant find. Whatever I look for, I can find it immediately. Maybe I have some uh, notes, txt file somewhere. There you go. Um, programming, Django, programming, Neural9 recorded voice assistant. You can find everything immediately, whatever you're looking for. Now, if you're running this for the first time, it has to index everything. If you're running it for uh, the first time in a long time, time period, it's going to index for 30 seconds or something, and then you can find everything. And this is not comparable with the Windows search. It's not comparable with Fuzzy Finder on Linux. It works like that instantly. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to work like that on an HDD. I think it should, but on an SSD, it works like that. So this is just something I wanted to show you. You can also play around with the settings here. You can use regex, you can use advanced search um, with more complex settings here. Uh, you can what can we do here? We can filter for audio, for pictures, for folders, whatever. Uh, you can preview files. You can change also the thumbnails here, as you can see. 
And once you found something that you like, once you found a file that you're looking for, for example, port scan scanner, I can just double click it and it runs it in this case, uh, or I should be able to right click it, open path. And there you go. And you can find stuff instantly. So that's it for this little video today. It wasn't too fancy, nothing too complicated. I just wanted to show you that tool because I really enjoy using it. And I know that a lot of people struggle on Windows with finding files. So if you like that video, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.